Hey there, sterile needles and poison beetles. Welcome to a brand new series on this channel that I am calling Out of Context. Believe it or not, we as humans can sometimes get the Bible a little bit wrong. Well, obviously not like me or you, but you know, other people. We can sometimes make the mistake of making the Bible say what we want it to say rather than what God is trying to say. And so in this new series, we are going to be tackling some of the most misinterpreted, distorted, and misapplied verses in all of scripture. And to start us off today, we're gonna to be talking about a verse that can be found on every athlete's sneaker, every youth group motivational poster, and every new believer's Twitter bio. That's right, we talking about Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And obviously the him being referred to here is Christ, yeah? Now obviously this is one of the most popular verses in the Bible, quoted by Christians and non-Christians alike. And it's usually referenced as this sort of motivational phrase that we use to pump ourselves up before we go into some big event that we're hoping to have success in. Game seven, I can do all things. Job interview, I can do all things. Level 400 on Candy Crush, all things, baby. All things. And it's not that this interpretation of the verse is completely inappropriate, as much as it's just incomplete. Let's dig in. So in the book of Philippians, we have the Apostle Paul writing from prison to a church in Philippi. Did you hear that? From prison. I don't think Paul has a championship game coming up anytime soon. In fact, if we back up just a little bit, we will begin to see exactly what Paul meant when he said he could do all things. Verse 11 says, I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger abundance and need. Say it with me, y'all. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So we see here that all things doesn't just refer to the good things. It also refers to the hard things. In fact, it refers to anything. And on top of that, what is most important in this verse is not the things at all. Paul is saying here that whatever the circumstances, good or bad, favorable or not, free or in prison, the circumstances do not really matter because whatever life throws at me, I will stand content in the strength of of Christ. You see, this verse is not only about what we can achieve because God is on our side. Because what happens when you lose the game, or you don't get the job, or when things don't go completely right, does that mean that God just wasn't with you? At its core, Philippians 4.13 is not a verse about achievement. It's a verse about contentment. And contentment doesn't come from circumstance. It comes from a savior. And this verse is about learning to find that contentment, whatever the circumstances, because we have something greater than circumstance on our side. We have the strength of Christ living within us. So as you go today, if you find yourself feasting, do it through Christ who gives you strength. If you find yourself hungering, do it through Christ who gives you strength. If you win or if you lose, if you suffer or if you abound, whatever you do, wherever you go, may you find contentment through Christ who gives you strength. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching this very first installment of Out of Context. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, I welcome your feedback down below in the comments. I want to know what did you like about this new series? What do you think we could change? What do you think we could add? These first couple installments are going to be a bit experimental. Before I go, I want to mention two things. Number one, I want to give a shout out to my friends over at Elevation Worship. Those of you who are watching the vlog, you know that I've really been listening to their new album, There Is A Cloud, a lot. It is so good and many of the songs really go along with this idea of being content in our circumstances, being content in the strength of Christ. So if you haven't checked it out yet, please, the link is down below. You really should check it out. I love it. It is 
so, so good. So, so anointed. The second thing I want to mention, I want to remind you that I do have a show coming up. People in the Cincinnati area, Westchester Church of the Nazarene. I'm going to be there April 23rd. It's going to be an amazing night. You can get your tickets once again in the description down below. Anyway, that's all I have for you. I hope you all are having an amazing start to your week or whenever you're watching this. I love you all. Keep being awesome.